Hello! I thought I would do something fun today. It's not, it's not day, it's night. It's like actually like almost 1 a.m. I might have tried this introduction a few times. I might have even read the thing I'm going to read for you a few times. And I didn't get any better! <laughs> so, I decided for my channel, something I want to do is I do kind of want to get back into playing some games, putting up some game footage for fun. Uh, I haven't fully dedicated to that idea, but one idea that I do want to dedicate my time to is reading <laughs> out loud to you. Because I know that when I do art, I really love listening to someone talk about something in the background. Sometimes uh, it's you know, something like drama related. I mean, I do listen to a lot of the art commentary community. But I really also love just learning about other people. So I like listening to biographies as long, you know, right upside stories and stuff too. Like short stories, horror stories, that kind of thing. If you would like me to read something, you would like to hear my attempt at it, go ahead and let me down. Let me down. Let me- yeah, let me down. <laughs> I'm letting you down already, right now, and I haven't even started. What was I about to say? Go ahead and put it down in the comments. And if I don't read it, it's because I wasn't confident that I would be competent enough to do it, just like this intro. <laughs> Alright, I am reading this off of the Wikipedia. I checked the sources, it's correct, but I wanted to keep it short and sweet as you see below. As you see below. As you've seen before, I have a bit of a flubber when I try to talk. Hopefully that flubbering will be kept to a minimum as I read. Just know that I, I've checked, the information is correct. Um, a lot of it I already knew before, but it helps to kind of have something in front of you. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not good at creating scripts and the information is already here in front of me, so I'd rather just read the work someone else has done. Because, I mean, I don't even make money from my channel. This is all a labor of love and fun. So, let's get started. Today we're gonna talk about Gil Elfgren. Gil Elfgren was an American painter of pinup girls in advertising and illustration. Best known for his pinup paintings for Brown and Bigelow, Elfgren studied at the American Academy of Art. He was strongly influenced by the early Pretty Girl illustrators such as Charles Dana Gibson, Andrew Lewis, and Howard Chandler Christie. Other influences included the Brandywine School founded by Howard Pyle. Elfgren was born in St. Paul, Minnesota, and attended University High School. After graduation, he began studying art at the Minneapolis Institute of Arts. He subsequently moved to Chicago to study at the American Academy of Art. He graduated from the Academy during the Depression at the age of 22. Elfgren joined the stable of artists at Stevens & Gross, Chicago's most prestigious advertising agency. He became a protege of the artist Haddon Sundblom. In 1937, Yale began painting calendar pinups for Louis F. Dow, one of America's leading publishing companies, during which time he created about 60 works on 28 by 22 inch canvases and distinguished them by a printed signature. Many of his pinups were reproduced as nose art on military aircraft during World War II. Around 1944, Gill was approached by Brown and Bigelow, a firm that still dominates the field in producing calendars and advertising specialties. He was associated with Brown and Bigelow from 1945 to 1972. At Brown and Bigelow, Elfgren began working with 30 by 24 inch canvases, a format that he would use for the next 30 years, and signed his work in cursive. Elfgren was a commercial success. He lived in various locations and was active from the 1930s to the 1970s. In 1951, he began painting in a studio in his home, then in Winnetka, Illinois, using an assistant to set up lighting, build props and scenes, photograph sets, and prepare his paints. His clients ranged from Brown and Bigelow, Coca-Cola, General Electric, and Sealy Mattress Company. In addition, during the 1940s and 1950s, he illustrated stories for a host of magazines, such as The Saturday Evening Post and Good Housekeeping. Among the models Elfgren painted were Myrna Hansen, Donna Reed, Barbara Hale, Arlene Dahl, Lola Albright, and Kim Novak. Alright, 
I got myself my drink after all the failed attempts at that. Not gonna lie, it's kind of watered down. It's kind of gross, but I'll live with that. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be drinking that much. It's after 12. I'm gonna have to like get up a dozen times through the night. Um. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you liked the brief look into Gil Elfgren. Again, go ahead and leave some suggestions down below or wherever they have the comment section years from now. Anyone looking at this? Well, that's a frightening thought. I remember when the comment section was on the side. Oh, I'm old. Ah, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> also, I can't remember if I mentioned it at the beginning. But I thought I'd go ahead and mention it now because I was using Wikipedia. Professors, teachers to tell you not to use Wikipedia. Um, just go down to the bottom of the Wikipedia page. There will be sources. Click on the sources, check them out, and then use that in your paper. Boom. Citation done. Research done. Because I'm going to tell you right now, most of the time the Wikipedia pages are pretty close, if not 100% accurate anyway. I know they can technically be edited by anyone, but they work really hard to make sure that that information is correct. So, I'm sure someone will tell me how much I'm wrong in the comments, and you know what? That's fine. Go ahead. I will read it. <laughs> uh, I probably won't read it for the video, but I'll read it. So, you know, there's that. I hope you guys felt inspired, entertained, and I hope it helped you, you know, draw. I saw Andrew Loomis on there, and you know, I'm thinking maybe that might be a fun read next time, because he's very famous in the art world. There's so many, like, tutorials and books that he's done. Like, I'm sure that anybody starting out looking at how to draw a human head, you've seen his, his Loomis method. It's, uh, that might be a good idea. Just maybe. Alright, guys. 